Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with a review video, overview video about my thoughts regarding the new Sims 4 Luxury Party Stuff Pack, which is the first stuff pack for The Sims, so I'm really excited. Uh, first stuff pack, I love anytime the game adds new hairs, new, I don't know, clothing, just New content of any kind gets me really excited. So let's have a look at this. Welcome to The Sims for Luxury Party Pack. Um, party and style, live in luxury, through the most lavish party in town with a collection of flashy furniture and decorations. Add fun and elegant pieces to your Sims homes. Yes. Dress to impress. Uh, I might not go through all of this. Indulge in the all new buffet table and experience the all new fountain of meth. Um... One thing that I did tweet, uh, it does say, take advantage of the mixology and cooking skills to serve a variety of drinks and snacks, is this part. Or use the mischief skill to make things more exciting by adding a little something extra. I don't like this because it alludes a little bit to drink spiking, which I know I'm a bit of a party pooper, but I think it's like a really serious thing. And I know friends who've gone through a lot because I drink Savine Spike. So I didn't particularly like that, but you know, I love The Sims and usually I love everything about The Sims. So it's okay. It's okay. Uh, so let's just go straight into create a sim. We'll have a look at the new clothes and then we'll go look at the new items. Um, anyways, let's just get someone we're a little bit familiar with. Okay. So we've got two new tops, pretty cool vest. Best thing I'm the thing I'm most excited about this stuff pack is actually the beautiful textures they're introducing. You can see the nice light shining reflection there, which is really nice. Obviously, we have a few different um, versions of that. I particularly like the silver. That's cool. I like it. Interesting, interesting. And uh, then we've got this party jacket, which is <laughs> I'm loving the metallic. These are full-on party clothes. I don't think they suit every Sim character, but maybe your more outgoing Sims would be happy to don something from this. Um, all right, so let's go to the bottoms. What? Full body, anything full body. Okay, so we've got this suit. That's really cool. There could be some really fun, interesting Sims that you create with these outfits, definitely. Uh, I've got to incorporate this into an LP of some kind. And, uh, oh my god, who would wear this? <laughs> like, maybe a sim that's a clothes designer would have the confidence to wear this. But this is, like, totally avant-garde, uh, I'm thinking. Okay, so now luxury parties applying to everything, which I'm quite happy with. Any new accessories? Sorry, guys, nothing for the men in terms of accessories for the luxury party pack. And in terms of shoes... Okay, we've got some cool new ones. Um, yeah, I like these. Uh, these are really cool. Brown ones could be for any kind of sim. These are your more outgoing sim shoes. I like it, but probably the most exciting thing uh, are the new hairs. I get so excited for hairs. Oh gosh, I love new hair. Okay, so we've got this. Um, really out there. I, I, I see why the sims are doing exaggerated hair because it goes with the aesthetic of the cartoons um i don't know i'm just not that big on it i wish it wasn't so exaggerated personally because i would only put this on a sim of mine who was really out there i would not put this on a normal sim um this is this is all right this looks like prince charming hair it's got a uh bit of a comb over look which don't mind and then this is this is cool it looks like a cupcake topping in pink just here <laughs> um but yeah this is nice this is nice they're solid they're solid um this is just fun i think that was good to promote it not necessarily as much to use in your game that's my personal opinion that's everything for boys. So let's go over to our lady sim and have a look at the hairs first up because that's what I'm most excite excited to see. I'm just going to take off those earrings. So we have this do fringe hair to the side. I really like this. I could use this, use this for a lot of sims and we don't really have 
anything quite like it. This is really nice actually, the graphics of this hair and the movement up here of the hair and how the lower part of the hair actually stands or stays still. Um, that's really nice detail. I hope that they do a long hairdo to maybe down here with the same kind of wavy effect. That would be a really nice hair. Um, but I understand it's hard with graphics with the bust. I think that might be, I'm guessing that might be a problem for longer hairstyles in The Sims and why we don't get them very often. Or really ever in The Sims 4. Uh, yeah, different colored hairs. It's really nice. Then we have this one. Um, yeah, really good. I think huh? we could use this on a lot of Sims. <laughs> Uh, it, it's looking posh. It's looking posh and done up and it's meant to because it's a party pack and this I just love. I love this. I saw this in screenshots. The kind of French, is that called a French bun? I don't know, but I, it's gorgeous. I love it and it's perfect. It's a perfect height. Um, just to show you guys. Oh, I like it in the red head. That's pretty cool. In a few different ways. Um, yeah, really, really nice. Then, uh, last of all, we have this one, which is also stunning. I love it. I love this hairdo. I would want to wear that. <laughs> uh, so I think, I really think the Sims 4 team are doing a great job with this hair texture. They're really, um, I think this is strengthened a lot compared to what we have already. In, in, I think, compared to the initial stages of the Sims 4, I feel like the hair's looking heaps better. Okay, so in terms of head pieces, we've got nothing in there. Um, earrings, these are pretty awesome. I do like these. Again, I love, love, love looking at these textures. I mean, look at how that glistens. Glistens, isn't that gorgeous? Textures in The Sims 4 is so exciting. Uh, looks pretty cool with her red lips and black hair. And we've got two-tone going on there. Really nice. I think those colors that they've picked for the swatches are pretty spot on too. Uh, so we have that and then we have uh, this other diamondy necklace and oh, I just I keep going on about graphics but the graphics look so good they look really really nice the yellow is awesome I have an obsession with yellow diamonds <laughs> I'm sorry to whoever in the future has to propose to me or like hopefully proposes that would be nice um, because I would love a yellow diamond I'm obsessed with them but Oh, that's really gorgeous. Really nice. The jewelry looks so much better than in The Sims 3. Like, way better. I'm not as big on this necklace because I wouldn't like a necklace like that in real life. It's just my taste. Uh, so let's just leave it. Let's go yellow. Let's keep the yellow because I like it. Okay, so we do have new makeup. I do know that. Makeup is... Okay. So this is really nice. Um, just experimental. I like it. It's different. Uh, we didn't really have anything like this in The Sims 3 that I can recall or that I've particularly have fond memories of. So this definitely is a statement for The Sims and I like it. This is the one that stood out to me most. I love this. And again, how it shimmers is just beautiful. So. I don't know who was behind this, but if it was Jill, I I was really lucky to meet Jill, who um, initially for The Sims 4, I think, had a lot to do with Creator Sim. I think she was the lead person behind Creator Sim. I could be wrong, but she, if she did this, she's just awesome anyway if she didn't do this. But if she did, thanks, Jill. And whoever did do it, thank you. It's sick. I love it. And then we've got these gorgeous more I don't know I would probably put the black one on a more edgy sim probably this is pretty cool oh my god I love all of this makeup I just want to this would be really cool on your alien sims too uh I have to say and oh no way <gasps> I've always wanted this in the sims it's a really long cat eye oh my gosh I'm so excited right now and that obviously overlaps over these eyeshadows so you can combine the two, which is really nice. I'm just going to take off the eyeshadow though so you can actually see what's happening here. Again, really nice and you could come up with some really creative stuff. Um, so yeah, 
and then we have what's this one okay so that's the same without the glitter underneath which is a nice option and we've got some really heavy ombre lip liner i don't get what that is i don't know why I'd... that's an odd swatch to put in oh well it's different it's different um again really nice textures i just think the light reflection whatever I used to complain about the lighting engine in The Sims 4 in terms of build mode and looking inside your houses, but I have to say the light mode in Kaz is the killing it. My gosh. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, let's put these lips on because they're kind of cool. Well, they're kind of cool. They're awesome. It would have been nice to have a red lip in here. Uh, that would have been great, seeming red lips are your kind of go-to color. So let's go to PAX. Luxury stuff pack and ta-da! Mm. So pretty. Look at that back. Look at the shine. It's really cool. I'm not that big on this front section, but I like the back. Um, this is a bit much in the front for me personally. But I mean, this is, I love that. Uh, kudos to the sims like this is this is really nice actually that could be a really cool wedding dress uh potentially for sims i might you know what this might be perfect for esmeralda and my twins lp because she's a little bit evil oh this is so pretty that's really nice i love that we need it i can't really tell what we have to get this necklace off because I can't see it properly. Let's just take everything off so we can really see it on a blank canvas. Yeah, that's sweet. I love it. And yeah, nice choice of swatches. I love that they've included a brown and a black. Um, no, that's really nice. There's this shorter one. I've seen a lot of pictures of this. A lot of people seem to be liking it and using it on their Sims, especially the little pink one. Really cute. Uh, yeah, like an A-line skirt. I'm very interested to see how the graphics work um, for, as new clothes are starting to come out because you, you, you get to learn about the movement and how they're dealing with that. This is probably my favorite dress. I like this. I wouldn't like it in real life, but I like it in The Sims. <laughs> I think that's awesome. And I will definitely use this. Wow, look at the sleeves. The uh, the kind of sheerness at the top is really something. It's really something on the black. And then finally, this dress, which has a bit of a bandaged front. Um, it's really nice. I probably would have preferred this without that cover-up just there, but... Yeah, I would like to get rid of that. Um, but it's lovely. It really is. Nice one. I love going through these stuff packs. And this is such a nice color. I can't even talk. This is such. Really nice. So let's look at the single pieces. We've got this top, which is very, very fashionable. Like, if this was in real life, this person would have spent a lot of money on this top. It's very structured. Interesting. I like it. Perhaps better on... A smaller bust so it's not as like whoa yeah I much prefer it on a smaller bust I have to say um whilst other things look better on a bigger bust and uh if we put the pants that go with this these are sick I love these which ones this is such a cool outfit like I never ever oh we've got new shoes too I never thought I could dress a sim as fashionable as this like this is freaking awesome I love it so these are obviously the different shoes we have available really nice again everything's so nice yeah loving it and then this one these shoes are cool they're really cool I just think it's all really cool so the other option we have is this top and I saw English Simmer posted this top and on Twitter and I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And she was <laughs> obsessing over it too. Like, I love it. Um, totally, totally, totally. And I'm 
assuming... Oh, hold on. So this is a little bit of a problem. Okay, so you could put these black pants with it. For a second, I thought there was nothing that would go with it. Shame there isn't cream pants. Shame that these two tones don't go together. Interesting because... Okay, so they've made them go with that colour instead of that colour. Okay, would be nice to see more swatches. I would really like there to be more swatches in the game. Um, anyways, it probably goes with these pants though. Alright, so we do have pants that go with it, but I would have liked to put the other pants with it. So I would like it if Sims had that offering. But it's really cool. Really nice, really nice stuff. I know, it's just so cool. Like, how exciting is this? This is a really, really nice stuff pack. I like it. Okay, so uh, we've gone through the shoes, the bottoms. Uh, we've got some bracelets here. Uh, so obviously this came with the base game, the silver one. But this is really nice. Um, this is something that would be really an interesting piece in real life. So I'm all for it in The Sims. I'm loving starting to see a bit of gold textures. We need gold furniture. Okay, and this bracelet's going to be on the other hand. So, uh, cool stacked bracelets. Really nice. I like them. I would like to be able to reflect them and put them on both arms. That would be something that would be really handy, I think. Um, and then there's nothing for the kids, I don't think. Um, yeah, so it's just adults, really. So let's go in and check out some of the new objects. Alrighty, so let's have a look at build and buy mode. So there's some nice new objects that we've got here um, that I'll show you. Um, basically, you've got this chair, which is really, really nice. You can see the back of it. It's got that really nice um, draped look about it. Very wedding-like in white, especially. But you can make it into more, more of a party look. This is definitely for your glamorous sims. Uh, if they're just hosting a dinner party or having these in their house, they'd be a very glamorous sim. So now I'm really inspired to do a very glamorous party. And I love it when they put browns with white and vice versa. I think it looks really nice, those neutral colors. Very classy, very classy. Um, we also have these stools, which are super cool. I love them. Um, I love the white and white and the red's pretty cool, but I think my favorite is just the black, to be honest. Um, both of the, the chair and the stool are really nice textures, so I'm very happy with that. Ottoman, yes, it's an ottoman that doesn't look like it has flourishes or anything. So this could be put in a contemporary home and it's super nice. Really impressed with that. Um, lots of different colors. Again, a neutral color too. Then this is obviously the sequined tables to go with the chairs. This is nice. Okay, I'm just looking now and I do have a slight bone to pick and that's these outlines of the circles are kind of scruffy looking. I'm always a little bit disappointed in The Sims where, you know, because these objects are so smooth, like they're really, really smooth and nice. And then when you get this and you see those little inconsistencies, even though it's really, really small and you won't really notice it that much during gameplay, it reminds me a little bit of custom content, which is what I don't like about it. Um, but I mean, still, I'm obviously going to use those tables and and it's still awesome, but it's just something I wish was more tailored. Uh, these cubes, I think these are for actually sitting on. Are they? The boom cube is a perfect surface or series of surfaces. Okay, so it's a surface. Uh, eat on it, but only if you're going to be daring and don't leave things on it. Okay, I don't know if that will actually do something in gameplay, but it's interesting. So you can piece them together. Um, these will be really useful, I'm sure, if... Oh, interesting. They don't size up, just so you know. Um, but I think... Cool colours. Um, if you use the 9 and 0 keys... Might not work here at the moment, but it could be interesting to stack them and create maybe an archway or something. Yeah, there's a bar that suits the cube ideas. So they obviously, they made to sit together. What? They made to sit together? Not really. They don't go together necessarily. 
Um, when I when I look at these cubes, I think I imagine they have like a plastic texture. But when I look at this bar, I think it's a render that has no texture on it. I don't know. Even though it's similar to this, I I think it's very believable. Um, so I'm not as big on this. Love these. These look awesome. But I I would I would have no idea what this is made out of in real life because it doesn't really look like a particular texture. But Still cool. The black and white's nice. Uh, then we have this fountain. So this is a drink fountain. So it'll sit on a counter, but not a table by the looks of it. So Sims can help themselves to it and create punch. I think you can also have a chocolate fountain and also a cheese fountain. <laughs> okay, so this, this is going to have different foods on it, I think. I have some Sims, so we'll test them out in a second. Um, interesting, interesting. Okay, so this is a fancy feast banquet table. Can this sit on there? Okay, there we go. This makes more sense now. Uh, so the fountain can go on top of there. I'm not sure what you put around here. Maybe you can put plates. Uh, maybe you can put chairs around it. Uh, no, it's not for chairs. It's for looks. Still like it. Very, very nice. And then if we quickly put a wall up over here, uh, we can have a look at the wall objects and... This is really cool. I love this uh, curtain. This is really glam. Really nice textures on there. Uh, yeah, and it shimmers. That's awesome. Some really nice swatches. These swatches are spot on. I love the gray. That's chic. That is so chic. <laughs> uh, what's this? A lamp? Ooh, I like this. Okay. It's really fancy. I do like that. And then this is a pulse panel. Oh my gosh, obsessing over this right now. Is this a light? Oh, you can feel it. So you'd feel, feel a pulse off it. I don't know if that... I doubt that'll be in gameplay, but still so cool. So let's get our Sims out here and see. Um, fill fountain with, so we can do chocolate, fruit punch, sparkling apple juice or cheese. And, oh, how nice is that lighting on this panel? Love that. Okay, so we've got the punch going on. Love that. And then empty, grab fruit punch. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. That's a nice interaction to have. And then serve all serve food so you can choose what's served or you can serve a bit of everything. All right, so these are little flowers. Really cute, really cute. Um, and yep, yeah, okay, so you can actually put food around the fountain on the banquet table, which is really nice. And then I wonder if you can actually put the fountain on top of here. Yes, you can. So. The fountain definitely has objects to put stuff onto, which is really nice. Anyways, guys, um, I hope this was a helpful review. I mean, a lot of it's just my point of view on things. You might disagree with some things, but anyways, I'm very happy with this new expansion pack. I think it's a lot of people said there wasn't enough in it, but it's sorry. It's not an expansion pack. It's a stuff pack. So because it's not an expansion pack, I think it has plenty in it. Um, I think it's really nice. I think you get enough for what you pay for and there's some really great items in here that I think I'll use a lot. Um, so thanks Sims. Anyway, hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll speak to you soon.